Hello, everybody. Welcome. It is Wednesday's Reset Wednesday. I'm here in Tennessee in the United States, and I just want to say thank you for joining me. It's been an interesting week here. It's been an interesting week everywhere um, from what I'm hearing and seeing. A lot of people are calling me, and um, they're kind of freaking out, to be honest with you, panicking, wondering, you know, what's coming next? Why are these things happening? You know, why are people so out of balance? And it's um, it, it's not only you know concerning. It's it's very disconcerting. We are all feeling these um, senses of pressure and the sense of um, well, some people are feeling a sense of gloom and doom and like something awful is happening all the time. And I can't say as I feel that much. Um, you know, I'm pretty tuned in usually. And besides the stuff that's going on with my health, I'm usually pretty much in balance and. It's been really interesting to me as I've been praying, meditating, talking to my guides. I keep getting these, um, this sense of, you know, just it's okay. Everything's okay. And for the last uh, three years, at least, I've been told every time I ask a question, Renee, just do the next right thing, next right thing. And as I've said many times that people get annoyed with me when I tell them this, but that could be washing the dishes. That could be, you know, taking a bath. That could be you know, paying all your bills, that could, whatever. It could be something so mundane and simple, or it could be something huge as starting a radio show or, you know, going out and serving humanity in some way, uh, whatever it is, but it's the next right thing for you. So, you know, it's it's so important for all of us to um, be able to understand what that means for ourselves, because for everybody, it's different. You know, we have uh, people that are in every career path, some people stay home, some people take care of family members. Um, it's just, you know, no one job is more important than another. And my guides are always showing me this, you know, whether you're a heart surgeon or you're the person cleaning the heart surgeon's house, we are equal as humans, we are equal. We are spirit beings here having this amazing human experience, most of the time amazing human experience, and we are all on the same level playing field. Some people may not believe that when they're in their ego. Some people may not believe that when their ego is trying to beat them up and push them down. But guys, we all came from the same place. We're all returning to the same place, and we are all equal. Don't ever confuse that ever. Don't ever let anyone make you feel less than, and please don't ever feel like you're superior to other people because you're not, nor am I. It's... um interesting for me because as I ask these questions and I wait, sometimes I wait a while before I get my answers. And today, or actually this morning, um, and then just a little while ago, I I keep getting these um, images, these, these pictures in my mind is the way I get a lot of information and I get symbols. And oftentimes I'm shown the globe, the actual earth, the globe itself. I'm, I've shown other planets at times and star systems and different things. But in this case, I'm being shown the earth. And when I say, I mean the entire earth and it's spinning, you know, so you can see all, I can see all the different continents and I'm not real good in that. But in the spirit uh, realm, when I'm there, I understand what I'm seeing because they, they put this information in, in my head. So I'm seeing, I'm seeing Asia, I'm seeing Europe, I'm seeing all these um, incredible places around the world. There's a lot of strife, there's a lot of chaos. And what, what I was seeing this morning, it almost looked like dragons above the earth. And it, they looked like they were flying and swooping and moving. And as they were moving, they were shifting. And to me, at first I was like, wow, these are actual dragons. And then as they came more into focus, I realized they're really not dragons. They're some sort of uh, angelic type beings that are watching very closely, watching what's going on on the earth. And they're doing their best to just try to stay out of what's happening. But at the same time, as we're calling and we're asking for assistance, they're, they're stepping up and showing up with many, many, many people, and they're bringing a message. And the message is, and, and I'm going to read this to you as best I can, the way I uh, wrote it down. The message is, um, this morning I heard child, which is normally how I'm addressed. And it's focus on the inner world, not the outer world. The inner world is where we have power. We have no control over this outer world. So 
when I'm shown that, I understand that means to go within. That means to go to the spirit realm. That means to go into that place of silence, into that place of um, calm, usually very calm within. And if not calm, you know, we we practice the anchors, we practice meditation, we practice all these uh, these amazing techniques to help us get centered and balanced. And right now, it's never been more important to be centered and balanced. They said to focus on the inner world, not the outer world. I saw um, at one point, um, it was a very bright blue light and it came in like on a beam. And I know that's Archangel Michael's energy. And as he comes through, it looks like he's clearing cords and attachments and making a beautiful pathway for all of us to be able to connect and to get out of this um, this fear that we're some of us are getting stuck in. So along with him, I saw three, um, it looked like three angelic beings. That's the best way I can describe them. At first, like I said, from a distance, it almost looked like dragons coming in. And then as they got clearer to me it looked like more like um like a humanoid form but with wings so this is what i was told we must request help never believe we're alone it's all temporary this is all a temporary as a dream you will awaken one day into true reality you are correct you are an eternal being serving once again in a human form do not believe or accept the drama on this world stage it is as it is for dominance and control. Dark forces are fiercely working, manipulating because the shift that is coming before the shift of consciousness arrives. They are losing their grip. As humanity awakens, the light will expand and the darkness will be illuminated to be seen as what is the truth. Do not hesitate in prayer and holding the light, holding the space for healing. Continue, dear ones, move your body, sing, dance, laugh to allow the energies to expand into your entire being. New gifts are coming. Make a way for those. Never stop calling on us. And as always, it's Amma Salah. Um, that is how um, a lot of these visions, messages that I get end in Amma Salah. I was told... Um, just not too long ago, um, yes, as your vibration rises, people will shift out of your consciousness. Do not feel hurt or betrayed. At, release them with love. Allow them to go. You are love. You are worthy. You are perfect as you are. Just love you as you are. I thought this was the perfect... Um, message for today because again with all the stuff happening around the world these these drama and, and I thought that was interesting the drama in on this world's stage this world stage so there's other worlds yes and this world stage and you know um when I was in my 20s my son was a year old he almost died and we were at the hospital and the doctors told my husband and I to make preparations, talk to our minister, whatever we believe, because we were going to lose our little boy. Well, we went to lunch. And as we sat at this restaurant in St. Petersburg, Florida, uh, holding hands across the table, my husband told me that, you know, if our son died, that he would probably have to go away for a while and regroup and just, you know, take some time to heal and then come back. And as we sat there, I had a vision of us sitting on a stage, a big stage. It had curtains, the curtains open, and we were sitting on this stage and we were holding hands. And I knew there was an audience all around us. And I knew that we had played this part, this role before we had, we had rehearsed this, we had practiced this. And obviously we were really good at it because at the end of it, I didn't see who they were, but there was clapping and applauding. And it was like, we had accomplished this great goal. And, as that happened, once again, I understood that this isn't the first time that we've been here. This We are spirit beings having this incredible human experience. However, we've played a lot of these parts out before. We knew what we were coming into. We agreed to this, believe it or not. And it is imperative that we remember that in the times that we need to. A lot of people tell me as we come in, our memories are erased. I've heard all different things. I do know that in visions that I've had where I have communicated with very high beings um, of love and light, and at one time I had a clear vision with Jesus, the love, the homesickness that I felt, the 
the energy around that. When I came out of that vision, I was depressed for three days, almost suicidal. I wanted to go home. And I realized at that time that that is a love like no other. It transcends no other. And that is my home. That's where I come from. Not this earth, not this place, not Florida, not Tennessee, not this place, but from this beautiful spiritual home. And those were my people, beings, tribe, whatever you want to call them. And that my light is part of that light. So as they said in this message today, do not believe and accept the drama on this world stage. That reminded me, oftentimes my guides give me information that connects me to old information just to let me know we're the same ones. This is confirmation that this is really us talking to you, Renee, and this is truth. This is where it's coming from because, you know, um, everything we hear, everything we see is not always from a positive source. And this is definitely the most beautiful positive source. As I get this message and I share it with you, I become emotional because guys, we, we belong to something so beautiful and amazing. And I know we signed up for this and I know sometimes it's so hard. Please never give up. Please never think you're alone. Always call on your guides. Always call on your angels. You know, God, sit in meditation, sit in prayer, spend time in silence. You know, if you can get in a, a tub of water, if you can't go to a body of water somewhere, get in a salty bathtub, throw some essential oils in there, light a candle, just love yourself, you know, and remember you're not some little human here. You're amazing, a magical, incredible spiritual being that is so phenomenal and so important to this place right now that without you, without you and your part, this could never be. So for these blessed people who take themselves out or God forbid die too soon and we think they're gone, you know, because it's too soon. I think the truth is they just couldn't continue for some of them. The others, they're needed on the other side to help this group of people that are coming fast, that are, we are transitioning. We're losing a lot of people due to illness and sickness and uh, medical treatments and war and crime and all of it, you know, but it seems to be escalating and it is, it really is. But here's the facts. Those people are back home. They're safe. They're content. They're not over there gnashing their teeth and worrying and wringing their hands because it's like they just walk through a door, you know, and they're just waiting for us to walk through the door. And it might be 50 years before we go from here, but over there, it'll be like a just a snap and we'll be there. And they all know that, you know, and if you channel or you, you know, if you're in that realm and you do that work, you know, this is true, you know, and for you that don't, Feel it in your heart. You know, I always tell you, put your hands on your heart. Ask yourself the question, does this feel true? If it does, accept it. If it doesn't, throw it away. You know, I'll, I'll never try to convince you of anything. But do remember, um, you are an eternal being and you have such a huge part here. And if you ever feel like you're in doubt of that, just close your eyes and tune in. And as they said, it is so important when we're thinking about the outside world and it's starting to get to us and stress us out, let's go to that inner world because when you're in fear, you can be controlled, you get hurt, you get, have accidents, bad things happen. When you're in love and awareness and you come from your heart center and that third eye and that connection to source, you cannot be led, you cannot be fooled, you will not get hurt. You. It, you can walk through anything and you're fine, you know, and if you've had this experience like I have and you're connected to the other side, you know that this is temporary. This is just temporary and it, you know, and one day we will be back there and we will be in, in true reality. This is kind of like a stage. This is like a theater, the, theatrical play. And if we can just remember that to know that we you don't have to get so caught up in it. You know, we can pray and we can be centered and we can love people and hey, we can serve. We need to serve, you know, and hold that light, hold that space. And, you know, let's pray for everybody instead of praying just for, you know, a certain group of people. Let's just pray for everyone. 
And let's pray that this light shines so bright that it shows what's happening, the truth, the darkness in, in the souls and the evil in the world. And it illuminates them to the point that we just blast them right off this planet, blast them right off this planet. That's my prayer, you know, that God's will be done, that this will be taken care of, the innocent will be protected, and the ones that are being taken away now, that they'll be safe and back home in the arms of their creator, and everything will be blessed as it should be. So being Reset Wednesday, you know, um, ask yourself, how has your day been? Has your has your um, week been pretty good so far? Are there things you would like to shift and change? Do you feel a need to remove something from your life? You know, is there some things going on that you're not comfortable with? How's your health? You know, uh, are you eating electric? You know, are you eating healthy live foods? Or are you eating more processed, you know, dead stuff? Because if you are, it's going to take that energy away from you. It's so important. My lemon buddies out there still doing it, right? Um, for us to drink our lemon water every morning, put that lemon juice in that glass with that beautiful clean water and drink that water and consume that energy and get rid of the waste instead of the weight. The weight goes with the waste, you know, W-A-S-T-E, waste, toxins. If you got a belly and you're worried about your gut, maybe you're not that big and you just have a gut. It's toxins. It's waste. It's poop. It's it's stuff that you don't need in there. Drink your lemon water. Eat your vegetables. Eat your fruit. Eat electric. Get it as fresh as you can. If you can't get it fresh, get it frozen. Whatever you got to do. I know in certain places in the world, they're not as privileged and they can't just, you know, run to a store and grab whatever. So do the best you can, you know, absolutely. And I'm not going to tell you not to eat, you know, meat ever, because I don't believe that. I think at times we need it. And I believe at times some people need it more than others, but you need plenty of clean water. You need loads of fresh electric foods. And when you eat that way, you'll feel electric. The more healthy and electric you eat, the more joy you'll have in your life and your being, the more centered and balanced you'll be. It's um, it's just incredible how you can do little things to change the way you feel and the and the way your health is. Are you sleeping? You know, do you sit up all night long playing games or watching TV or reading or whatever? You know, just try to to change your schedule so that you can get more healthy, quality sleep at the proper time. You know, some of us have weird work hours. Do the best you can. You know, to take care of yourself, sleep the hours that you need, you got to take a nap, take a nap, you know, what, whatever you need to honor your beautiful spirit self, do that, nurture yourself, get out in nature, you know, go for a walk, hug a tree, sit under a tree, you know, pick a flower and sit there and really look at it and be with it, be mindful in that moment. You know, have you ever sat in the grass and just felt the ground underneath your fingers? you know, and just allow yourself to feel that energy of the of the planet itself. It's a great thing to do. Put your hands flat down on the earth and pray and send the energy back to Mother Earth and ask her to heal you as well, you know, and just whatever it takes to show yourself kindness and love. It's, you know, it's it's always been so much easier for me to give to other people than myself. And the older I get, the more I realize that I really should have took better care of Renee. You know, no one's going to care for you like you will. You know, people will love you and they'll be there for you sometimes. But when it comes right down to it, only you know what you need. Not your doctor, not your minister, not your husband, your wife, your mother, your children, you. You know what you need. So what do you need? Reset Wednesday. You know, what do you need? Ask yourself that. Um, again, as the guide said, dance, sing, move your body, because as you're feeling all this energy coming in, especially all the intu intuitive people and the empaths, they get this. The other ones, if you're having headaches and body, odd body pains that come and go and a lot of emotional upheaval, I've had a lot of that, like just old stuff comes up and you're just like, ah, you know, and you're just so... You just got to get it out, you know, of yourself and do that, you know, maybe write it on paper and take it to the sink and throw it in the sink and burn it, you know, get, get rid of it, whatever it is. 
to reset yourself. And this ain't just about Wednesday anymore, guys. This is forever long term. So every day, wake up, tell yourself you're beautiful, you're amazing, you love yourself, get a plan, get out of bed and get going, you know, whatever, whatever that is for you. Uh, spend time with little kids if you love kids and, and you have kids around you. And I hope you love kids because that's where it's at, you know. Love the children and and show them, teach them, play with animals, you know. Go if you don't have a dog or a cat, go volunteer at a at a smaller rescue center, you know, help some of those folks out. A lot of people are taking care of the animals in our world and they don't have enough help. And I've been there too. So, you know, if you can't have a rescue center and you can't do that, well, go help one, you know, go walk a dog or go rub some dog's belly and, you know, make its day or, you know, whatever. Maybe go clean some kennels, buy some dog food, go feed them, just whatever you can do. Sit in a nursing facility and read a book to someone who can't read or maybe just go visit, you know, get permission and go visit. Just just whatever it takes to bring joy to yourself and others, yourself first, because if you're empty, you you can't give. Don't give from an empty vessel. That would just drain you. So fill yourself up, get empowered, get happy, and just go, you know, just get out there, guys, and shine your light, you know. Y'all hear me sing that song, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, you know, don't hide it. And don't care what people think while you're out there letting your light shine. If they think you're crazy, oh, well, that's on them. Just, you know, you do you. And as you do, just remember that you're never alone. And you can always call on angelic assistance. They're there. They're always there. You know, if you are looking for answers from, you know, about someone who has passed or you're having challenges in your relationship or whatever, Ask the questions, write them down on paper, close your eyes, hold that pen in your hand and just wait, just wait and just know. And I guarantee you, it'll start happening. Maybe slow at first, but the words will come. The feeling will come. Put your hand on your heart. If it feels good and loving, then go with it and, and always give thanks. Always give thanks. You know, it's so imperative that we give gratitude. And just notice what you write. And if you do this regularly as a regular practice at the same time every day, your angelic guides will come to you stronger. They'll come in and they'll help you understand. They'll give you clear information, just like they did me once again today. You know, um, I didn't always get information through writings. Um, I, I used to just get it like in a like a clip, almost like a movie clip in my head, which I still do. But anymore in the last, I don't know, six, seven years, it's been, um, oftentimes it comes through actual writing. And when I ask a question, you know, I just, I see it. And then if I sit down and I start, you know, with my pen and hand or pencil, um, I might have said this before, in the last few years, I've started drawing and using pastels or paints or chalks or pens or whatever. Uh, I, I was never into art. Uh, actually, my art, my teacher told me I was a terrible, worst artist she had ever seen, and I had zero talent. Well, I lost a dear person uh, 10 years ago, and after that, I developed this gift for drawing. And I'm not perfect, but hey, you know, it's something. And what's been happening to me lately is I draw world events before they happen. And sometimes I don't, usually I don't understand it. The, the horrible event in Hawaii, I was shown that days before. First, I was shown it as the beautiful place that it was. And then I was shown the fire and the destruction. So I'm sharing this because gifts come in all forms. And as I was just shown, that more gifts are coming. And I believe we're gonna reach a very clear point where we won't need to use our mouths to communicate. We will telepathically speak to one another um, much more than we do now. And I don't know what the other gifts are. It's gonna be exciting to find those. You know, um, people believe many different things about what's coming in our future, but I know it's shifting. I know consciousness is shifting everything's rising up and you can just feel it if you go out in the world it's it's incredible here in tennessee 
the weather's so different, the plants are so different, the plants feel it, the animals feel it, everything feels it. And if you're tuned in, you feel it too. And if you're not tuned in, you're feeling it, and you're probably feeling it like anxiety or fear or pain and concern. It's just shifting, guys, it's just shifting. We're just expanding. And as the guide said, we need to move our body so that we don't, you know, we're just these little humans right now, but we're these giant energy beings. And I don't, I feel intuitively like our little bodies just can't hold all that energy. So we have to, we have to be able to move and, and be able to assimilate what I'm looking for, assimilate this energy as it comes in. And as these gifts come in, because, you know, it's like this glass is this size. And if you tried to pour a gallon of water in it, it's just going to overflow and make a terrible mess. Well, you know, I better get a bigger glass, right? So um, that's what we're doing with our energy. So doing your breath work, you know, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth 10 times as I talk about, it will help you get centered and balanced and calm. And then just, you know, ask the questions, get your pen, do what you got to do. And remember, you know, you can find me at Full Circle Wellness U. That's Y-O-U, Full Circle Wellness U um, on YouTube. You can find me at fullcirclewellnessu.net is my web address. We're also Full Circle Wellness on Facebook, Renee Johnson on Facebook. It's uh, Full Circle Wellness is probably the best place on Facebook. And, you know, reach out to me and just anything I can do, set an appointment with me. I'd love to give you a reading and help you develop your intuition and your gifts. So, guys, have a beautiful night. Uh, It's never enough time. It goes by so fast. Thank you all. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, you're beautiful. Keep looking up. Don't let anybody take you down ever. And don't forget just to ask for guidance, you know, call me again, Full Circle Wellness, my number, 931-239-2592. I'd love to talk to you, help you get on this uh, path or get you further along and get ready. Get ready, guys, because we are going to be developing some strong gifts, amazing gifts. And, you know, don't be afraid. It's going to be exactly as it should be. And remember, it's this world stage that all this drama is being played out. And it's not real. This is an illusion. This is not the reality that we need to be focused on. Go within. Build the mansions within. It's on the other side, guys. It's on the other side. Love yourselves. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. And I'll see you next Wednesday. Good night. I love you all. Bye-bye.